today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can play Fortnite Chapter 4 on your Mac. This applies to MacBooks or just standalone Macs. The way I'll be doing this is going on GeForce Now, which is a game streaming service. The first step you want to do is open your web browser, whether that be any web browser like Chrome or Safari. Then you want to go to your search bar and type in GeForce Now. Once you're here, you want to click on this right here. And this will bring you to the NVIDIA GeForce Now website. Once you're here, you want to go to the download page at the top and then scroll down until you find Mac OS. As you can see, this is available for multiple platforms, but the one we'll be using today is the Mac OS one. Just click download and then down here, you'll see it'll start downloading. Wait for it to be done and I'll show you what to do next. All right, so now that it's done downloading, you want to go down to your downloads folder at the bottom on your taskbar and click on the GeForce Now application installer. This menu will pop up. What you want to do is drag the logo to the applications folder. You'll hear that noise, and then when you're done, you want to click the X's. Now you can get rid of this installation media by dragging it to the trash. Now to get to GeForce Now, you want to go on your launch pad and scroll over until you see the icon. Click on it and it should open up. Once you're at this screen, you want to hit agree and continue. And then at the top right, you want to click login. But first you need to hit these next arrows to just get through the tutorial. It'll show you how to use it. But you want to log in at the top right here and then it'll take you to this website. What you want to do is if you've never made an account before, you want to make an account by entering your email to create an account and it'll show you all the steps or you can use any of these methods below. I already have an account so I'm just going to log in. Once you've created your account you'll see it up here and now you have full access to GeForce Now. What you want to do now is go to these three lines and then click settings. Once you're here you'll see over here it says connections. What you want to do is go under Epic Games and then click connect. This will open a browser window where you can sign in for Epic Games. Just sign in like you normally would and then I'll show you what to do next. And I'll just click allow and you get this box. And then it'll say your account has been connected. And I'll just close this window. And now you'll see that your account is connected. Just click close and now you should be able to go back up to the three lines and then click games. Before we do this I want to go back into the settings so I can show you what to do to get the optimal settings for streaming. If we scroll down here and go to streaming quality you'll see there's multiple options. What I would recommend doing is going to custom and then clicking this and choosing the highest resolution possible which would be this. Make sure you're on 60 FPS for the best gaming experience and then click adaptive for vsync. Leave this setting on and then leave your max bitrate to auto. Once you've done that go up to the three lines and hit games. Now if you don't see Fortnite here you can go up to the search bar and type in Fortnite manually. You'll see it'll pop up. You can click on it and then click play. It'll analyze your network so you can get the best experience. Now you'll see we have to wait because we have the free version which in this case there's 500 people which this is because the game just came out for chapter 4 and people are trying to play it a lot right now. You'll have to wait or you can upgrade if you click on this button and you can skip the wait. Since we have the free version we have to wait. Alright so now you can see we're in the sign in screen for Epic Games. We just waited for the 400 people to go by and it only actually took 30 minutes which isn't much for 400 people. But once chapter 4 is out for longer the wait time should go down. Anyway, you want to sign in with your Epic Games account, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll show you what to do next. Alright, so now it's loading up, and we should be able to get in the game once it's done. As you can see, we're now in the game. We can do anything like that we would usually do. And if we go into here, into the settings, you can see all the PC graphics settings are here. So you can mess around with these. And down here, we can see we're getting 120 FPS. So it should match your MacBook if you have a ProMotion MacBook. Right now I'm going to mute this microphone. Alright, so now you can hear me better. We'll just jump into maybe a Battle Royale game and see how it performs. 
All right, so we're loaded in now. You can see we're playing. And it looks pretty good. There's not much input lag, but this will depend on your internet connection. Which I would say this is pretty playable. And I'm still only playing on the trackpad and the keyboard. Let's see if we can put the graphics up a little bit. Alright, our graphics are up and they actually look really good. And we're, this PC that we're on is actually getting like 60 FPS still. So it's playable. And as you can see, this is the Chapter 4 map, so I'm not lying about that. We'll go ahead and jump from the bus here, and let's land right in the front. Alright, so I turned on the audio so you can hear that it's actually working. We'll go ahead and turn it down a little bit. But, it is a little bit stuttery right now but that's because of the PC that they use. But forgive the gameplay, I'm playing on a trackpad and laptop keyboard. Oh geez. Yeah, I just died because I can't play on a trackpad. But as you can see there, it works. I mean, we'll spectate this guy. You can see it runs pretty good, especially for game streaming. I'm gonna watch this guy get a kill. Oh jeez. There he goes. Alright, but that's just to show you that it works. We'll go ahead and leave the match now. Alright, to close this out, I think you just hit this X up here, hit confirm. And it should just take you out of here. As you can see now, it says to send them feedback. I would say it's a really good experience, so I'm going to give them a five stars. And it says thank you for your feedback. And as I was saying before, you can also like game stream a bunch of other games. If you just keep scrolling, there's like tons of games that you can stream from this platform. As you can see by this bar over here, there's a lot of games. But anyway guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you want to see more of these videos in the future. Have a great day.